it's good to be back online last four days i could not publish the update but i did get a lot of time to think about what is really happening across the globe in the stock markets i felt one thing for sure that u.s fed is timing its way pretty well into the u.s elections they have already declared that they will cut the rates probably three times and november is still some distance away they will cut the rates that will cheer the market that will provide cheap money to the industry at a reasonable time not too many jobs being lost stock markets are at an all-time high in the u.s as well gold is glittering crude is above 80 again which means u.s has good control on its exports of crude as well as gold on the contrary unless there was a reason which i am not aware of from india elections perspective last year 10 days have not been kind for the investors not sure if it is a great thing from rbi perspective aligned with the elections in india right now there is too much emphasis on fed rate cuts frankly i don't think it will change anything for anyone in the shorter term in the long term yes it will i don't foresee anything different in 2024 gdp numbers for us or india because of rate cuts from india perspective reliance has been pretty strong tcs and infosys are probably reacting to accent Accenture's report yesterday, Accenture fell nearly 10% yesterday, not a good outlook at all. That will impact the IT sentiment of services companies across the globe. I think there will be anywhere between 15 to 20% kind of correction over next one or two weeks in the IT pack. In the banking space, HDFC is looking really, really weak. FIs for some reason have decided to exit HDFC. Maybe there's something they're expecting from the board, which the board is not providing. On the contrary, ICICI Bank is looking really strong. It is nearly at an all-time high. If today I was to buy a bank, then I would probably choose ICICI over HDFC. Today, the US markets are looking a bit jittery i think they will be weak they are specifically spooked by apple the lawsuits part as well as accenture's numbers now, what is really happening in the global markets the us and india specifically us has printed a lot of currency nearly 10x of what they had a few years back india has 3x from the demonetization law even in case of job losses or a recession 5, 10, 15 percent people may lose jobs. Right now also what will happen likely in both US and India is the real expensive jobs that were created or fulfilled post pandemic where there was a real shortage. Those jobs will be reduced and then fulfilled again with cheaper labor. IT folks who got really good hikes in the last couple of years need to be a little cautious specifically. 70, 80 percent people will continue to get the salaries they are getting. They will continue to be employed. Their salaries right now are way higher than what they were probably three years back. The surplus cash needs to go somewhere. The big ticket items are equity direct, equity via mutual fund and real estate. A bit of it may go into Bitcoin and gold also. So what's the outlook? US is not looking very great for today. However, it will inch up slowly only till November unless there is a real bad news. Crude is looking strong again. It spent 20 plus days below 80. It has gone a bit above 80 right now and it looks like going for higher levels. Gold and Bitcoin are consolidating a bit but both of them I believe would again continue the rally. They need a little bit of uncertainty to fire the fuel again. Indian markets on Monday will probably repeat today's performance. Nifty Bank Nifty will be higher. FIAs will continue to sell specifically in HDFC Bank. Infosys, TCS, the larger companies like Prop Persistent, they will probably be down another 2%, 3% kind of levels. Not a bloodbath but a little downtrend. In my opinion, FIAs are not taking money out of India. That is is reflecting in the US dollar which is kind of between 80 to 83 kind of levels continuously. It is not making fresh highs like 85 or 86 which would have been the case if FIAs were taking the money out. What are DIAs up to? Lot of cash is coming into mutual funds. Till the elections are done, 4th of June is the date when election results will be declared. Till May and at least they will manage the markets well. They will stabilize the market. Markets will not fall too much. So probably align your trades with the India election date for now. Note one thing, next week is the last week of the financial year. And there are two days when Sensex and Nifty would be off Monday and Friday. If there are only three working days next week. So if you need to exit any stocks or do a bit of tax harvesting, there are only three days. Take note of that.